Part 3, Communication Disorders, acronym CD, Prevalence, Identification and Assessment, Causes and Issues and Trends, by Dr. Marty Harris. This presentation includes audio that reads the slides. Therefore, closed captioning will not be used. Prevalence. CD, or SLI, is a high incidence disability. Remember, the federal term is SLI, speech and language impairments. While most professionals, states, and districts use the term CD, communication disorders. Prevalence. Students ages 6 to 21 receiving special education services. The whole circle equals 6 million school-age students with disabilities. 22% of those students have SLI, speech and language impairments. That equals 1.14 million students. Prevalence continued. Reasonable estimates. Speech disorders, 10 to 15% of preschool children, 6% of school age population. More boys than girls, two to one ratio. Language disorders, two to 3% of preschoolers, 1% of school age population. Boys are more likely to be identified. Primary and secondary disability. The prevalence figures presented thus far represent data for SLI as a primary disability. In other words, SLI is the main disability. SLI can be a secondary disability. This means the student has a disability, which is the primary handicapping condition. And SLI is the secondary disability for which the student receives related services. 50% of the students who have IDD, intellectual and developmental delays, or HI, hearing impairment, receive SLI-related services. Identification and assessment of CD. Signs of speech disorders. Makes consistent and age-inappropriate articulation errors exhibits disfluencies such as repetitions, prolongations, interruptions in the flow or rhythm of speech, has poor voice qualities such as distracting pitch, is excessively loud or soft, speech cannot be understood compared to peers. Signs of language disorders is unable to follow oral directions, is unable to match letters with sounds, cannot create rhymes, cannot break words into syllables, has an inadequate vocabulary, demonstrates poor concept formation, does not understand nuances, nonverbal messages, or humor. Struggles to understand or convey messages. Shows difficulties when conversing with others. Has difficulty expressing personal needs. Recognizing receptive language disorders responds inconsistently to sounds or speech, has a short attention span for things he or she likes to do. 
sometimes looks blank when spoken to, seems to have difficulty understanding abstract concepts, seems to be distracted by extraneous sound when spoken to, has difficulty recognizing relationship of words to ideas, has difficulty using phonics as a method of recognizing words, often gives inappropriate answers, has difficulty learning meanings for new words, has difficulty sequencing events, days of the week, numbers, etc. Generally repeats a question rather than responding to it, tends to shadow questions, sub-vocalizes, or repeats them. Recognizing expressive language disorders. Seems unusually quiet. Does not contribute to class discussions. Often uses words incorrectly. Sometimes uses words in incorrect order in sentences. Seems lethargic and unanimated when talking. Uses more physical behavior rather than verbal expressions. Fails to recognize cues indicating that he or she should stop talking an excessive inability to remember, cannot find descriptive words in conversation and writing, uses short sentences most of the time, rambles when telling a story or responding to questions, uses an excessive number of ums, pauses, and repetitions. Overuses words that define concrete ideas. Talked excessively without making him or herself understood. Assessments completed by SLPs, speech and language pathologists. Developmental history articulation test, auditory discrimination test, fluency evaluation, voice evaluation, interviews with the student, language development tests, which will include expressive language tests and receptive language tests, language samples. Causes of CD. Causes of CD. CD can be congenital or acquired. Language disorders may be biological, neurological, or environmental factors can increase risk. Speech disorders may be caused by structural malformations in or around the mouth, neurological or psychological factors. Those are rare. Causes continued. Number one, cleft lip or palate. Most common birth defect in the U.S. Affects one out of 700 newborns in the U.S more common and left untreated in impoverished nations. Impoverished nations. Number two, repeated ear infections. Number three, negative environments, lack of adult models, lack of opportunity to talk, punishment for talking or making noises. Issues and trends in the field of CD. Issues and trends. 
general education teachers need more specific training in strategies and techniques to be used in inclusive settings. Need to increase collaboration among teachers and SLPs. Large caseloads for SLPs is a serious problem and must be reduced. Need funding for therapy and research. Need funding for research addressing assistive technology, AT, for SLI. We all need greater acceptance of differences among people. My education should be special, like all my friends. References Friend, 2011 Hallahan, Kaufman, and Pullen, 2009 Heward, 2009 Smith, 2010 Taylor, Smiley, and Richards, 2009 Turnbull, Turnbull, and Weimeyer, 2010. This presentation is copyrighted by Dr. Marty Harris, 2017, 2010, 2005, 1998. Thanks for listening.